What you're looking at is half of the original timber frame cabin that I started. How long has it been? Six years ago? This is the portion here that was uh, stolen uh, when we moved to the, uh, the homestead that we're currently at. And uh, one of the first things that I did when, I, uh, when we got here was um, I fell some timber and uh, rebuilt it. Um, I have not put it together. It's been sitting up here for up on this pallet rack for three years, I guess, or so, give or take. Uh, it doesn't look like very much from down here. It's up there pretty high, uh, but what it is is the whole bottom section of the 12 by 16 uh, timber frame cabin. Um, so I uh, scarcely have the time to take on this project, uh, but I've given it a lot of thought over the last few days, and I, I think it's time. I think it's time to put it together. Uh, uh, Mrs. Rangastar and I uh, have uh, a spot that I think is going to be suitable for it, and I'm excited about it. Um, I've got a lot of things going on. Um, it's going to be, I don't know how I'm going to get it all done, uh, but I'll just get up a little bit earlier and work a little bit later, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I've needed, I think I've kind of needed a project, something that I have been enthusiastic about. The thing with making videos, uh, it's not so important really what the content is. It doesn't really matter uh, as a video creator or YouTube creator what you're doing, whether it's cooking or doing car reviews or fashion or modern homesteading, whatever it is, the mo most important thing and what comes through the videos and the thing that you can't fake and you can't uh, manufacture is enthusiasm and a passion and a desire to do something. Um, I am uh, just finishing up the roof on the tree house and I will uh, be sharing, doing that simultaneously, finishing those last details up as I uh, embark on this uh, big project. Uh, but, um, you know, the thing, the thing about it is uh, it's, I, I'm, there's not a lot of joy in continuing the videos. And I think that there, it's a lot of, a lot of you have kind of getting t gotten tired of it. And I agree, it's ran on for a long period of time and, and I will, uh, uh, again, I'll share you, with you the milestones, but I'm not gonna go into all the nitty gritty detail because essentially, apart from the solar system and finishing up the roof and, and finishing the siding and the ladder, it's, it's, it, it is essentially complete and will be in the next week or two. But I, I will share the highlights with you. But my passion and desire to share that and to continue to create videos with it is waning and I just wanna jump in and spend a couple of days and just get it done. But I do have an excitement and a passion uh, to get this cabin put together. I'm curious to see how things have fared. It's, as you know, I cut the timbers green from living trees when I milled them and, and did all the notching. And when I originally did everything, it was very tight fitting and everything was you know, as good as I could be, as good as it could be. Uh, how it uh, is going to look and how is it going to fit together after it's had several years to, to dry and to shrink and check is going to be as well. So what we're going to find out is I, I just don't know. Um, we'll, we'll find out together. But I've just picked up the concrete for the foundation. Um, again, I got the spot picked out. I've got the uh, pillars for the uh, posts. And right now, uh, I'm going to fire up the forklift. Let's pull it down after three years, uh, take a look at it, and see what it is we're dealing with. So the question is, is how does everything look? Well, I'm, I'm really sub, uh, pleasantly surprised that, that it's in pretty good condition. It's been kept under cover, so we don't have any issues with water. These are the uh, bottom girts, 
two different species here, a grand fir and a red fir or Douglas fir. I can see, well, maybe I spoke too soon. I can see that there is certainly some warping, a little twisting there. But in my estimation, I think, I think it'll go together. You know, very well maybe that there's some pieces that we have to, to recut, but it's hard to tell here. The foundation for the frame is gonna be made up uh, with these two six inch, six by six pressure treated timbers. These are what will be buried in the ground. I'll dig four holes. I'll pour some concrete footers in the bottom and then uh, fill up the holes with gravel, compact it in the best I can, and the frame will be supported by these four posts. And that, Lord willing, in the weather, is where we'll start tomorrow. Here's the concrete uh, that will be used for the four footers, 80-pound uh, bags. We'll put a bag in each one and let those cure, and then we can start setting our posts and laying everything out. Here in the big barn are the original pieces that I built. When I first started the Wrangler Barn channel, this is kind of where I started. And these are the pieces that I have, uh, that I originally did. That was years and years ago. Those are the pockets. These are, this is a corner piece, pockets for the knee braces, uh, the upper girts. Here is a, what is that? That's one of the rafters right there. There's four of those. A lot of work went into those. Here is, uh, I believe that's the peak. I can't remember. We're going to have to kind of relearn all this stuff, but everything looks like it's in pretty good condition. Here's one of the knee braces. That's one of eight, which it's going to be a little sad when I originally built this. These things, I had taken a lot of pride in them because they had fit, fit in so tight. We'll see, uh, see, we'll see how they fit now. I don't know, each one's individual, so this is probably not the one for this particular hole, but, uh, but those will let in there like this, if you can kind of get the idea, and then be pinned in with the oak dowels. But all of it's done. You know, it's all here. Um, I think there are maybe just a couple of roofing pieces, some non-essential pieces that I can put in. I've got a nice tree. Uh, that I'm going to fell um, to use. It's clear. Well, it should be pretty clear for those remaining pieces, but I see no reason why it uh, it won't go back together. Why it won't go together? I again, I've been how many years? Six, seven years. I've been sitting here, but I think it's time. I'm excited about it. And the bottom line is, is if if we have a piece that's not usable and and doesn't fit. Well, we'll just make a new one and we'll make one that will fit. So I, uh, I'm excited about this and I have, I can't wait to get started. I'm really looking forward to this video series and I'm going to take my time and detail it and share my triumphs and failures and, um, I'll do, uh, I'll, I'll document this the best that I can. And I really appreciate those of you who have uh, uh, stepped up to volunteer to help me stand the frame when everything is done. I've gotten uh, an army of people that volunteer that live in the area, and that's going to be cool. But uh, I'll get the groundwork laid, and and I really don't I don't think it's going to take all that long.